What's up, bye bye. Here we're back in another video, and we're doing some more Itch.io games. Uh, coming in the next uh few days, since it's not really any series I want to record, so I figured we just go ahead and do some more of these. Um, so we're gonna do a game called Reflection. Um, it's a pretty heavy concept. I think it's supposed to be some thoughts of suicide and all that. Um, I'm assuming this is supposed to be the concept of self reflection. You know, looking, it's called reflection, you're looking at yourself. So I'm assuming this is called self reflection. Um, you know, uh, there's no music right now. There would be music when I start up, but right now there's none. Uh, but I'm assuming this way is self reflection. Um, so, anyway, though, let's go ahead and start. There probably won't be too much going on, funny stuff, but it's short. As far as I start. Does she smoke up the dark can of dentist through the room? The very in my senses. A small distraction at the dark wood behind my eye descends. Okay, deep breath. Visualize. Fill the room. Time passes. Do how much? I'm not sure. The tenants of my memory will be charged, shaping the darkness, giving it life. Come on, focus. It works. I sign, repeating the descriptions to fans I made. I had made of me before. You're insane. Sure, sure, sure. If I'd be crazy, giving my head a shake, I continue. Here we go. The first rule: contemplate your decision to visit. Well, I'm a curious person. Maybe a simple is is it enough. I'm studying folklore and I love the code. I'm working on my masters. And yesterday I noticed just how empty this, my apartment is. Doesn't feel like it's mine yet. I moved from shit house and finally have my own space. I was excited at first. No roommates, no parties, no drama. But aside from a bed and table, I didn't bring furniture. Not even a mirror. So I walked in to an antique store where I saw an old mirror in the window window and I bought it. When I tore off the paper the clerk had wrapped it in, I saw it writing on the back of the frame, carved into the wood, the walls. When the online searches in the school all gave showing up blank, I knew I had to play. Ouija boards, pendulums, two weights cards, I'm trying them all. If it's as cold practice, I've studied it, which is especially the whites. Covered with one. Second wall. Give her permission to borrow your voice, but not us. I can tell you by hesitation. You may borrow my voice. Just no reply. Would we let go into she arrives? At least my grip and allow my mind to wonder. Very slight holding too. After I say on now. He always is as my flesh screams below, begging me to turn back. I love the sensation. Read your words while you wait. I will cite them in the stillness of the word. Allow her to speak first. Ask if you met before. Speak quietly. Say goodbye. Don't open your eyes. Don't accept any deals. Never break the mirror. Never wait twice. Never scream. I was just the urge my eyes. These wars, we got child's plotting. Something shifts. My nails dig it to the vein, nearly creaking. The sensation of breath on my neck is familiar. The pattern unmistakably human. As the air traces my skin, I feel an echo in my bones. It's cold, freezing. She's here, her presence. It's how every match and spirit would be. Back to back with our own. Bits and hood, but unseen. Ivy, my heart shudders. I knew she'd borrow my voice, but that's weird. 
I clear my throat. The word jumps from my mind and I watched it quick myself. Have we met? Yes. It gas gives me. It's not a scream, it doesn't count. I know what it's like to try to scream. How did she? But I did when the ghost first come for me. I went to my father and said, he opened the door when they bought, bought the rope. He didn't want a troublesome daughter, a girl who weak divinity, a sinner, a little witch. They were jealous girls. Even when I hung from the tree, my hair fell in perfect ringlets and glistened in the sunlight. They didn't stay to watch me die. You see, they didn't drop me from the branch. They lowered me. They were slow and born. They hanged me from a willow on the edge of the lake. I used to mind my reflection on that riverbed bank. But that day, I swung in the breeze and watched my feet dangle above the water's edge. I saw my eyes bulge and my tongue begged to leave my throat. I wasn't pretty anymore, just like my father said. Curses everyone that hanged at, at, on the tree. I was trapped there even after the warmth had left my body. The pain didn't end. I wondered if that was death. If I would feel my body pull at my neck like a one ankle until it finally gone, gave way and left my skull behind. I wondered if I'd been buried beside my mother and feel her decay next to me. Sun set and no one came. I strayed there through the night, but when dawn broke in the morning like shine of course I slipped away. I fell into the stream and lingered down there for some for a time. It was washed it washed away the pain. But that pooch and anger remained. Now if it's a ghost like me. Want to watch them still die slowly. My throat tightens. I'm not like you. Which must trace my spine as you laughs. You remember the bridge? Those schools were just the ones that tied the noose. They wanted to watch a pretty girl die. And you wanted to make them smile. You thought they were your friends. My nerves dig under the skin of my palm. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're afraid because you remember. I was in the river when you jumped. Just beneath the surface. Waiting with arms outstretched. Our eyes met as you plunged below. We met again shortly after. I glanced at you from the bottom of a bottle. You took those pears from a stranger's hand and dropped them on your tongue. You felt pretty when you did that. I watched you draw them in liquor. Now you're here. Wait to die. What did those girls call you? No devil, no secret, junkie? Suicidal. They went wrong. The danger you did to make them laugh, to make them like you. You knew what it would cost. And every time you survived that plunge, you climbed higher. Always just for happiness and others when you can't scratch the surface of your own. No parasite. I shake my hand. I wasn't trying to kill myself. Don't lie. I've been watching. Every risk. That jump. Those pills. Summoning hole. I did it willingly. I liked it. You just need to bring. Trust me, you love to feel it. It's better than every brush with death. Give me your hands. I'll do it for you. Or give her nothing else. I won't let you. Don't be scared that it's fast, like cliff jumping. Give me your eyes. Maybe I was wrong. You're not ready. But I want you to stay. A sweet crash of glass shut shatters my focus. My hand tremors as I reach out and fish over my eyes. To my relief, the mirror remains intact. As I lower my head, I feel it. A braided necklace tightens. So pretty. 
have a gift for you. Let me get the glass. Please, I... I won't visit again. The news tears into my soft flesh with a point of touch. I can't breathe. I'm gonna die. Oh, sweet Ivy. I promise you will. I know you. The next time you visit, you give me your hands willingly. Jump together. But for now, goodbye. Hope slips away. She's gone. Goodbye. Jeez, that's pretty, <laughs> that's definitely pretty dark. Um, so I didn't say before, but it's short, so what we're going to do is we're going to skip. Wait, I can't. I can't. So you can't play twice? I guess the game remembers? What? <laughs> um, let me, let me try, I'm going to quit. Okay. And then... It was a deal. I feel her way to sharp smile grow. You're afraid because you remember. I was in a river when you jumped. Just breathe beneath the surface. Wait with arms outstretched. Her eyes met as you plunged below. Met again so shortly afterwards. I glanced at Eve in the bottom of a bottle. I took those pips from Schmidt's hand and dropped them on your tongue. I felt pretty when you did that. I watched you draw them in liquor. Now you're here. Ready to die. No. What did those girls call you? Daredevil? Dorosico? Chunky? Suicidal? They went wrong. Things you did to make them laugh, to make them like you. No way it would cost. And every time you survived that plunge, you climbed higher. You always search for happiness in others when you can't scratch the surface of your own. No parasite. I shook my head. I wasn't trying to kill myself. Don't lie. I've been watching every risk. I jump. Pills. Summoning her. I did it willingly. I liked it. You just need to bring the rope. Trust me. You'll love the villain. It's better than every brush for death. Give me your hands. I'll do it for you. Get her nothing else. I won't let you. Don't be scared. It's fast like cliff jumping. Give me your eyes. I know some of the dialogue changed, but I want to... I think it's supposed to be two innings. Maybe I was wrong. You're not ready. But I want you to stay. She died if I do this, though. Sweet crash of glass shatters my foot. Focus. My hand trembles to reach out with fierce and open eyes. To my relief, the mirror remains attacked. As I lower my hands, I feel it. Very necklace sighting. So pretty. Have a gift for you. Let me get the glass. Please, I. I won't raise it again. The news tears to my soft flesh with a point of touch. I can't breathe. I'm gonna die. Oh, sweet Ivy. I promise you will. I know you. Next time you visit, you give me your hands willingly. We'll jump together, but for now. Goodbye. Hope us away. She's gone. Goodbye. Yeah. Looks like she is. Okay. It uh, looks like there's just some dialogue changes, but either way, the how it ends is pretty much the same. I do honestly like the way when you actually start, she, it's like, I can't, like, the game remembers you did it. 
and she she said she would never visit again. So we install it. It just says I can't. I do like when games do that slightly. Um, but I would like maybe at the end. I don't know if it has to end there, but I think we'll uh, you can like uh, what's it called um, erase your progress. Pretty much that way you can just start back. Anyway, though, that was actually really typically good. I like it. I I can see um it was short. But I liked what they added in there. <laughs> it was actually a lot cooler than I thought. And it, I liked the uh, art style too. Like, well, even though it's just this one art style, really, I did like um, that it was mostly just CGs. And I liked a little bit that was still. You know, it wasn't much. It's hard to really talk about something like this since it's really to be short. But overall, really to be good experience. I do check it generally like this lady experience here yeah. you know like not every game but a lot of uh, games when they like when you play them on itch.io when you see some other game like this there's actually generally love and kill into the game and you can see it whereas if you play another game on like steam not all but like some games on steam even bigger projects you just don't see it or you see the passion slowly get lost so it's nice to see a game like this that doesn't Really, like the people who make it really generally do care, even though it's a small short thing, they just want to make something interesting. Maybe even make a story or get a message across, whatever it is. You know, and topic of suicide is a pretty big deal. So, anyway, though, I guess that'll be all. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and bye bye.